Hi guys, this is Joseph D again. Welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm showing you my most favourite hand tool. It's a 10 ton hydraulic press. Well this is used to press motor shafts together. So a closer look. See how I've got it set up. Motor rotor. Motor shaft. Piece of aluminium in between the press and the motor shaft, this is designed to stop the shaft from being damaged when the pressing force comes down. Now what I need to do is push this through this rotor here and it should come out of here. So here goes. I lift this lever up and down and it generates a hydraulic pressure. It doesn't require much force to push this through but it comes through because of a very tight interference bit. At a moment you should see it start to come through the upper end. That's about the most I want it to be. And you can see it's come through the upper end. So this is how you press motor shafts together. They do this in factories on a bigger scale. They have probably 50 ton presses doing this, but this is just at home and this is my facilities to press small induction motors together. So I can change the shaft profile of whatever shaft I want it to drive. So, i.e. I can put a different shaft into this rotor and then the motor will be able to drive a different object or item than it was originally designed to do. So this is how you change the motor shaft guys. Just a supplement to this existing video, this motor shaft has just been pressed and it's been taken out of the press now. You can see how it is. The back end, this will be the drive end on this side, you can see it's got a flat on it to drive a pulley or whatever a grub screw will fit onto there. Now the next stage will be to press on two bearings. front and the back bearings they get pressed in the same style with that press that I've just showed you then and once these are pressed together then the shaft is ready to install inside the electric motor but I'll come back to you in a second after I've finished pressing this together I couldn't resist it I had to show you guys the operation of pressing the bearing onto the motor shaft using this press so here I go Watch closely. That's coming downward. 10 tons worth of force. Once I feel the resistance, that's my key to stop, which is there. You can see it's being pressed. Gotta pull the release lever. And then I can take it out. Look at that. Just like they do in the factories. You never hammer these on because you'll distort the shaft and you'll ruin the bearings. So this is usually the way they do it. Sometimes they may use a gentle heat to expand the centre of the bearing before it's pushed through. On very big bearings I've seen this. But I don't need to do this for this motor. So that's that's it. There you go. We'll be back in a second once I've pressed the opposite side bearing on. To show you the finished shaft. Again guys I couldn't resist showing you this press in action. No workshop should ever be without one of these presses. As it's an invaluable gadget. And very very useful. Pressing the op op opposite bearing on now. You can see that's the front bearing and that will be the back bearing. So the back bearing is getting pressed now as I speak. It's a quick process. The moment I feel the resistance, that's my key to stop. There. Let's pull the release lever. 
that's just a piece of aluminium on the top of it to stop the shaft from being damaged. And I can take it off the press now. So that's done. That's what it looks like. Let's put it on the table here. That's the shaft of an induction motor now. See it's got a flat on it there for the drive end. And that's the opposite end, it's just an end that's at the back which doesn't do anything. But that spins around inside the stator, showing in my last videos. And the motor end shields which I've been casting go on the either side to make it into a motor. Not bad, eh? This is the very last part of my video. There's the motor shaft which I've just pressed a few moments ago, I brought it in. The motor stator, motor end shields which we've been cast in the last videos, there's two of them, that's the second one here with the wires coming through. Now this motor shaft and motor rotor drops down into here and as you can see it spins freely inside the stator, there's a closer look at that. Top motor shield which also has a recess for the bearing as you can see here there, fits over. The whole thing is screwed together with 70mm M4 Allen screws and the motor spins round to drive whatever it is it's going to be driving. Of course there'll be screw holes drilled here and there. Four of them, one there, there, there and there which will be tapped to M5 thread to be able to bolt this motor onto whatever it's driving. There's a control box which I've cast already. Marford boy's already seen this and he's very impressed. Just a terminal box, I made it. Simple design, easy to cast and sand it down with a belt sander. So that's that. That will be bolted onto here like this with the terminals, which will be a free speed control. Just waiting for a smaller capacitor to arrive off eBay because this is too big to fit in that box. But other than that, the next video will be of this motor running. So stay tuned and keep, watch my space. Take it easy guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.